Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is me in my Double Zeta Gundam in mass production type Double Zeta colors. And this is another Brawl Mode match, and this one I, is the first one I won, and one that I just kind of wound up feeling kind of like a scumbag, uh, because I was talking about how this works in the one I ran yesterday, and how it really is a mode for opportunists, and how, yeah... You know, fighting things that are nearly dead after somebody else has done all the work is pretty much like one of the easiest ways to succeed here. Double Zeta is actually pretty good at that because it has those missiles and can do massive damage uh, from a distance, and it has the double beam rifle that has the piercing. So it's kind of made for this mode. So yeah, I am in first, and I am just... Yeah, and I can... If you target your missiles well, you can end up spamming enough to stun both uh, both sides of a one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So yeah, it, it has a lot going for it. And I'm going to try and fire the forehead. I think this might be one of the last videos I recorded before I replaced the wires on my game capture, which as it turns out, were the problem. Let's see, that, that was too far away to actually hit. I should have aimed for one of the closer ones. But, let's see, yep, somebody exploded and I did not get the benefit of the explosion. That is very sad. But, okay, well, I missled somebody to death. But yeah, like I said, all these people have been fighting. I haven't really done much to any of them. And just peppering them with missiles from a distance. I am, uh, I got a kill. And that's, again, just how this mode seems to really work. So, yeah, so I am just really kind of sniping from forever away. Uh, the, you know, the description of, uh... The description that, uh, and with complete with images that the uh, developers gave as examples of how this mode would work kind of showed, oh, it showed some courts running that way, but that's yeah, just kind of one of those things of, it, it feels like it, uh, you know, even with the name Brawl, it's it's just kind of uh, feels like it's geared towards these one-on-one -on -one close up conflicts, and I really kind of have done my best just keeping my distance and shooting people while they fight each other. So, you know. I guess it is kind of the Char way, but I'm not a very Char person in my day-to-day uh, -day life. Um, let's see. I'm still in second place. There's, I think there's a couple of things on the field I could conceivably still get assists from. But yeah, so, so far, so good. We've got five and a half minutes left, so pl time for plenty of changes. Good uh, damage there. There's another assist, which is enough, enough to put me back in first. And I'm going this way because I saw somebody uh, spawn in behind me. This is a mode especially also where you have to have the best possible awareness of, of your surroundings. If you, you know, just... If you're focusing on a specific person or set of people in your, in your uh, quest here, the very best thing you can do is, if you can, move to a position where absolutely nobody else is on your radar. And I was not able to do that, so this Hombre B and this Alex just, you know, or I guess it's probably a Tristan at these costs, just uh, beat the stuffing out of me, which, again, not undeserved. So now it is time to respawn. I may end up going over there because it's only three people there versus, you know, four fighting in the middle. So it's a better, you know, better odds, and especially now that it's down to two. Better odds, easier to isolate and pick one off, and also just uh, less likely to get people uh, up uh, up my uh, back while I am trying to uh, make a kill. So, beams. Got one of them. I was hoping the piercing would get them both, but, you know, do what you can. Got the assist on there, which put me back up to fifth. That person is nearly dead, so I just need to uh, get them. And roll back or forward. Yep, they were not ready for me to uh, melee quite, and I got the kill, and it put me in second. Of course, the top three also had get big targets over their head. I was able to stun that Hombre before it was able to get the Sea Serpent off and, and stagger me. So I am uh, I am not doing badly. Let's see, I am a, a possibly getting surrounded though, so it's kind of time to move. Yep, Hombre B, I, I did tag me, but it did not stun me. Now the Sea Serpent got me, so... Ah, but someone else decided to go after it, and that gave me a chance to kill it and get the lead again. Which I'm about to lose when I die, but... Ah, it's a Bawu, so... And I have nothing I can do. Oh, I had enough of a lead I didn't lose it. Nice. 
But yeah, there was nothing I could really do about that Bawu because I had no boost left. I I forget whether Devil Zeta has a uh, level 3 melee priority or not. It might, but yeah, I just still... I, I did everything I could to defend myself, and it was not quite enough. But I am still in first, so I will lose that the next time that Bawu or probably that, uh, that uh, GPO3 get anybody killed. If I kill the Bawu first, that'll help solidify my position to touch. And, and it realized it, because when I spawned back in, it turned right around. Redlined my rifle, but it was kind of worth it. Now I'm just going in and just hitting as hard as I can, and it was enough. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in the lead still and, you know, holding a, a good position. And for a second I thought that tree was an enemy, but, uh, which I feel like I just kind of said something about the, what this mode does to your mindset, but that's just me. Um, this mode is more or less built on simple battle rules, so it has reduced spawn times, and it also means if you crouch, you will regain health. Um, if I, uh, I could go hide, but there's, again, a big golden number one over my head, so I kind of, I can't hide that much. And there is, I think it's a Gelgug at disadvantage, so it's a Gelgug Jaeger, so, and somebody's behind me, so, you know, I move in really hard on the thing I have, uh, type advantage against, or type disadvantage against, because I may have disadvantage, but I don't think it's going to do as good a job of keeping me locked down as the Bawu would. But now the Bawu is moving on me, so I'm going to uh, counter. I hit its shield, missiles out, lots of them. Moving out of the way of the Jaeger, kind of hoping the uh, Jaeger will see the Bawu first and decide to uh, move in. But no, now the Jaeger and the Bawu are after me, so bad mojo. Um, and now there's somebody behind me, and this is probably where I lose my lead. Yep, especially since, uh, yep, I'm in second, I'm in third, because the Jaeger had a chance to charge, which... Kind of didn't want it to have, but not much you can do. Um, uh, the Jaeger is only 7th for managing to kill me, but I also just got an assist for something, so... The scores are close enough that if I, you know, again, if I play the opportunist and jump in on uh, somebody, probably the Bawu or Jaeger after one kills the other, I should be able to get my lead back. So, I said this is the first one I won, so I'm thinking that's how it'll work, just as a guess. One, two, it's down... It's down, I am rank 1 again, and now I just have to stay not dead, hopefully for the next 20-some seconds. Now, if in that time the GPO-3 or the, uh, GPO-3 or the, uh, uh, or the, uh, uh, Totus Ritter were to manage to get a kill, they'd probably overtake me, especially the GP, but that's okay. We have, I have a Hombrabi kill, and that gives me a 1,600-point lead. I would probably have to be killed by the Stamen directly to, uh, uh, to lose this. So, yep, kept myself alive for the last few seconds, so I got it. Yep, it's all... This one is all just about picking your targets and, you know, staying out of direct conflict as much as possible, because if uh, eventually you will get surrounded. But, uh, yeah, 152,000 damage. I'd say that's pretty solid. Seven kills, four deaths, and an assist score of 1,400. So, yeah, pretty good. Top and everything except assists, which was the Tristan. So, yeah, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Yeah, I've tried fighting in things that require, like, more direct contact and where opportunism is a little bit harder to pull off. The Gym 3 Close Combat, I, I feel like you really have to get in there at da more dangerous times than you do with Double Zeta or the G-Lion Light. And basically, for this mode, I seem to need things with missiles if I want to win. But yeah, it's it's one of those things where if I have to engage close in, it, a it actually ends up being one of those things where I end up really ticked off because I, I will be the one doing the most damage to something one-on-one -on -one, and then I will... Uh, pick off the uh, uh, enemy or get uh, or rather I'll get picked off by the enemy or the enemy will pick off my target so yeah it's just you know try, trying to trying to fight one on one more directly in this is just not as fun a time so really kind of have to uh, kind of have to take the more uh, backstabby line of strategy in this or at least it's what's worked best for me so far